Hi everyone. Today we're going to read Beach Day. And it's one of the Clifford's Puppy Days books before he was the big red dog. It was a beautiful summer day. Wake up Clifford, Emily Elizabeth said. We're going someplace fun today to meet Nina and Jorge. Someplace fun? Where could they be going? The dog park? The deli? The zoo? Clifford couldn't wait to find out. Well, Emily Elizabeth and Clifford had breakfast. Mr. and Mrs. Howard packed the picnic basket and a big bag. We must be going someplace far away, thought Clifford. But why was everyone dressed so funny? Soon they were on their way out of the city. Mmm, Mrs. Howard said. Doesn't the sea air smell wonderful? Emily Elizabeth held on to Clifford while he stuck his nose out the window. It smelled salty and a little fishy outside. Maybe they were going to the deli. Before long, they had arrived. Clifford couldn't see anything, but he heard a strange new sound. It was a loud whoosh. They kept stopping and starting and stopping and starting. What could it be? The wind? A train? We're here, Emily Elizabeth cried. We're where? Clifford wondered. He started running to follow Emily Elizabeth, but something was wrong. He wasn't getting anywhere. The ground was too soft. Emily Elizabeth laughed and scooped him up. Need a hand, she said. The Howards set up an umbrella and chairs on the sand. Mr. Howard picked up his book and smiled. Perfect, he sighed. Perfect, but Clifford always thought the chair in the living room was the perfect place to read. Jorge and Nina should be here soon, Emily Elizabeth said. Let's build a sandcastle while we wait. You can help me dig. Digging, now that was something Clifford did know about. Suddenly he felt something pinching his nose. Little Red, meet Big Red, Norville said. You never know what you might dig up around here, maybe buried treasure. Buried treasure, like bones, Clifford wondered. Clifford loved playing in the sandcastle that Emily Elizabeth built. When Jorge came, he ran to show it to him. But when they got to, to where it was, it had disappeared. Where did it go, Clifford asked. A wave must have washed it away, Jorge replied. Just then another wave came and tickled Clifford's toes. He looked down, but it was gone. Then a second later, it was back. Don't worry about the waves, little red, said Norville. It's just water that likes to play games. It'll chase and tickle you. Some people even say it dances. Dancing water? But there wasn't any music. Clifford was more confused than ever. <laughs> Come on, let's go swimming, Emily Elizabeth said. She picked up Clifford and took him out into the waves. He had a great time splashing and swimming with Jorge and the girls. Emily Elizabeth wrapped Clifford in a towel and snuggled him in her lap. Don't you just love the beach, Clifford, she said. So that's what it was. This was the beach. The waves, the sand, the smells, even the crab. He did love it. But then again, anywhere Emily Elizabeth was, Clifford was sure to love. Because he loved her, didn't he? Yeah. Looks like he had fun at the beach. Do you like going to the beach, friends? Mm, I do too. What's your favorite part? Do you like to build sandcastles or swim? Mm, maybe collect some seashells? I like to do that. All right. Have a good day, friends. Bye-bye.